Greetings, Redland. Greetings to my brother Stephen. Steve and Chris and their kids here in Redland. Hope all is well, Steve. I pass through here every now and then. I remember your old house on, uh, is it Avocado Street? I know you're at a new place now. I haven't been by there. You know, I don't want to, uh, intrude. But, uh, you're definitely in my regular prayers, your whole family. Hope all is well at the school. Today is uh, March 5, 2018. I'm passing through to Redlands right now, heading out towards Coachella. Gonna go to the uh, tennis match. I go there every year at the uh, Indian Wells. It's always fun to watch some of the pros in action. And the first two days, today and tomorrow, are free, so you don't have, you don't have to pay. And if you want to go on and, and the paydays, you know, the tickets range, prices are from 20 on up. Maybe as low as 10, I think. So if you want to take your family down there sometime. And of course, you know I started out there as an educator. Back when, uh, back before even the, uh, what made Coachella famous for the music festival, that was before that even began there. It's a pretty uh, rural area. Every time I go through there now, it's like growing exponentially. New residential areas, new malls, and everything. But the school I taught at is still pretty rural. That, that hasn't changed much because they got a lot of uh, the date farms in that area, so they're not they're not changing too quick in that, in that area. But Indio is moving up. It's uh, becoming more commercial and all that, residential. Redlands usually seems about the same. They got some nice historic houses there. I like to I like those old houses. Beautiful. Remind me sometimes like of the Heritage Hill area of Grand Rapids. Uh, about a year ago I was here in the area and I stopped in at the Christian Reformed Church at the river. Are you still uh, active there? How about the mountains? It's so close here. You go up there a lot? Big Bear? I discovered that waterfall hike by your house, uh, not not right by your house, but only about a 30 minute drive from there. I can't think of the name of it, but that's a fun little hike to take the family to, easy enough for the kids too. And uh, I was in uh, Northern California for most of January and February go up there every year for the big pro-life rally that's on, uh, goes right down in the center of San Francisco. You get thousands of people coming out for that. Hope you're pro-life. One of my passion causes. We're making progress. After the tennis match, I'll probably continue eastward and go to Phoenix area, where I usually go every year for a couple weeks for spring training, baseball, catch a few games, catch some warmer weather because of my alternative lifestyle. Every now and then I have to get away from all the, the chill cold. I've had enough of it. It's time to feeling ready for spring. How about you? Of course, when I say that, then it gets too hot. I notice it's going to be already up to 90 here in Coachella by the end of this week. So That's a little too hot, but you know, better than too cold. So I hope 
Hope all is well. Keep up the good work there at the school and with your family. And you and our thoughts and prayers, Stephen and Chris and everybody. God bless you.